So here we go, on with the show, Eddie and Flo's guest stars. So here we go, on with the show, Eddie and Flo's guest stars. So here we go, on with the show, Eddie and Flo's guest stars. Oh, yeah. Barry Mann and Cynthia Weil, huh? All right. They are here. They are Small here. but lively crew, huh? Yeah, they are lively. Hi. Hi. Okay, Hi. so that's how you? Like, okay. It's cool that you Excellent. came, you know? Yeah. I mean, we never met you, I think, except in the early days, Perhaps maybe, the maybe early days. eight, ten years ago. Are, are we on? Are we on? Sure. You're on. Okay. <laughs> this sure. is the refrain from obscenities, but otherwise have fun time. Okay. Okay. Hey, it's great you're here. Yeah. yeah really. they, these people here in uh, Radio Land should... Well, listen, the best way we could do this might be to just play a bunch of their things right in a row and show them... Assault them with that first. First, now. and then come back, and we can... Right? Is that a good way? Yeah. 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 That's a, I'm for that. Okay, let's yeah. do a little of that. These are a and bunch we'll of very man, Cynthia Wild songs. And 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 this is a great. We'll be back to hear these songs. Listen to this. You won't believe it. I love how your eyes close. Because I remember I told no. the story to Ben Fontoris in Rolling Stone. He did an article on that. And he was very indignant. When we wrote the song, we really wrote it. This is about, what, 10 years ago, the song? Mm -hmm. Easy. It was like, only in America, land of opportunity, do they save a seat in the back of the bus just for me. We were writing, we wrote it for the Drifters, and we were writing with Lever and Stola. It was, uh, there was some other group. Line, only in America, where they teach the golden rule, do they start to march when my kids, kids. want to go to school? Yeah, and we really wanted to write it that Protest. way. Protest. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, and we were telling Ben Fontoris about it, and he says, well, how was it changed around? Well, how did it end up, you know, being this kind of song? Oh, yeah, strictly from the yeah, right. patriotic. And, yeah, basically he was saying, like, what kind of morals do you have that you'll let this happen? Now, like, I was really, and I had to just be honest. I was a young kid and scared, you know. And I said, well, look, you know, we were running with Lieber and Stola, who have always been our idols, and we just, they were producing the record, you know, and maybe it was the greatest cop out, you know, maybe I should have been stronger. I really think it never would have been recorded. It would have never, never gotten that big. Right. I mean, it was a that's right. That's right. Matter of fact, the drifters cut this first with this with lyric. This and yeah. no R and B DJs would play. Because like, it was a lot. Yeah. It was a total lot. Great, yeah. great yeah. story. Turn it up so I can hear it. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Play the next one. In the eyes of the world, <laughs> I'm a loser. Hey, this is Gene what Pitney. Is for you? What was the big song when Gene Pitney wrote? He wrote some big hit. Oh, yeah. He wrote, uh, he's, a rebel. he's a rebel. He's a rebel. The Crystals. Oh, right. right. And we had the phone. Which what was? was uh, and then oh, yeah. we got that here. I'm going to slip that in. That's but, a good uh, you, song. How about, uh, we played already before uh, you were upstairs in the billard room when right. we were doing the He's Not the Boy I Love. He's, He's sure, sure the boy yeah, I love. Right. Oh, that was good. I'm really? Wondering. You guys did a lot of fillies. What do you think when you hear this one? This one is uh, Pitney. I mean, this was a top I can't 10. Relate, yeah, I, can't, but I can't relate to it. I have no, there are certain records I can relate to. I can relate to Uptown. I can't relate to this. Was this, this written for Pitney? This was written on the, up in the Round House when we had the Ski House in Massachusetts. Oh, yeah, it was a slump song. We bought for $25. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we can categorize it. Yeah, right. This is a slump song. It was like, hey, let's write because you got to write and you got to, you know, got to make some bread. 
this is what you it's something. Do. The it, song it, paid the rent. Right. It helped yeah. play the rent. Oh, it, right. yeah. it was top ten, right? Yeah, it was a top ten. Top yeah. ten. Yeah. Paid the rent. Yeah. Wanna pay my rent? <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 Why? Pay ours. <laughs> you selling your house? No, we're renting. You want to move together? Now where are you looking to buy a house? Why? Or where? Boss Beverly Hill. All right. All right. Well, I'll see. Yeah. Let's hear the next one. There's just oodles of them here. He could pay my rent. Right? <laughs> Let's just oodles of records here. They just keep coming at you. Ah! Okay, how about this one? Yeah, I love this record. Besides this Radio Free oh, Europe, what is this kind of rock? You're right. You know, no, this man, kind that's of right. Stuff, this kind of stuff, Phil Spector playing the guitar solo. Oh, oh, yeah, this is, yeah. Oh, yeah? This is, this is the weirdest thing. I know what I'm going to say. Go ahead. You can. Yeah, I mean, no, 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 no. This is one thing for oh, some reason. On. No, man. That Phil doesn't take credit for. You know. He'll take credit for a lot of other things, but this, he's... I mean, he's playing the guitar solo, which is, there was nobody who could play it the way he played it in this way. It was like a certain style of playing guitar. That when we get to the up. guitar solo, we're going to turn it up to 10 And really if it doesn't loud. make it, boy, are you in trouble. <laughs> I, I swear. I like, I like this tune, too. Can I hear a little bit of this, too? Sure. They say the girls are something else on Broadway. Track. You, you want to? I cut this guy. track. Let's get him right no, now. I don't know his name, Let's but he was with your label, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 Our label. It was White Whale when you were on White Whale. Uh -huh. Yeah. That I think this was on White Whale, wasn't it? This record? No, this was on Cohen C. Cohen C. Records. Was this it the was same was, cat uh, who was in who owned your know. label? Someone had said there was some kind of an involvement. It was it's meant a for demo. A demo track for a song written for who? We just wrote a song. Yeah, uh, see, that's the thing I was going to say. A lot a lot of your songs are like picturing yourself someplace else. Uptown or... Uh, a lot of fantasy songs. A lot songs. of fantasy yeah. stuff. Well, we're a lot of fantasy. songs that just hit home because of the novelty of the idea. Mm -hmm. The right. magic town, the... Yeah. Even the... And I know that, you know what, you must think of who put the bomb or whatever. I want to ask you later. Don't, you know. <laughs> but but uh, it's still everything. You, you did it kind of with a little twist, you know. That's... Uh, I've always You're enjoyed that. Twisted, <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Cynthia <laughs> Wiles said, just we're just a them little twisted. Just say it. They've got Can't to say, say it. Play the next one. Play the next one, because the next one's one of my favorites. They all are. It's unbelievable. Nobody can tell you There's only one song worth singing They may try and sell you Cause it hangs them up Another slum song. This was a slum song. Meaning, I. I well, this you, is a song that. Uh, what was the name of the group that we wanted to record it? They, were, they did. They ended up recording yeah, it. Yeah, but. I forgot that. No, we didn't want them to record this. We wanted them to record The Shape of Things to Come. Oh, uh, one of the great songs. From yeah. From Wild in the Streets. And they, they didn't love that song. Oh, I gotta and play they, that one too. Save it though. The is that, got, they said we won't do the which other one? one there's a Max Frost record. Got that one. No, there's, a, there's so really a good English one. record by uh -oh. Slave, who cut Slave. It, who cut it the way I didn't know how to cut a demo at that time. No, really, it was a really good. Uh, we Hard might have it here. Yeah. It might be Look here. It's it. very Indeed. possible. Oh, you guys have been married a long time. <laughs> and you 25 to 27 <laughs> years. Have you no, had no. any commercials? No. Yes. yes, I had one any commercial last year. What was that? Holiday oh, Ed. Oh, no. how, which one? How did they it go? Did they give you a rate? Sing uh, it? Is no, there no like... rate. No, oh. it's like... Uh, 
I don't even remember it. Well, there oh, yes, there were. Okay, here it is. No, 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 no. No, we figured, like, it was like 30 seconds of music, and they made a lot of bread, you know. And it was like, I said, I got to try this because I want to see what the whole, you know, the ad, the whole advertising thing is about. And I really liked the guy who was, you know, running the campaign. And what it came down to, he's, he liked uh, Cass's record of uh, New World Coming. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, I'm really trying to get good writers to write commercials and... And we, he sold the Holiday Inn on New World Coming. He even put some kind of lyric to it, you know. So he said, <laughs> you know, we like that oh, feeling. Cool. So I sat down with him melodically. This is before the lyric. He also told Cynthia what the lyric should be about. You know, there was a certain, he had filmed it already. Is that right? how it's broken down? Do you always write the lyric? Pretty much. Pretty but much, Barry yeah. has a couple of things he wrote himself on First, the First lyrics yeah, are... Yeah. Music. I know. We'll tell you that later. Okay. Let me just, oh, okay. Let me, go ahead. Let me Sorry. just finish the story. Up. Hey. So hey, anyway, when I, I, I forgot where I was. You know, let me see. He was oh yeah. Writing. So yeah. So as I, I brought in like no, little melodies and like he said, well, make it a little bit more this way, that way, and I started to think, hey, he, basically it ended up he wanted New World coming. So I said to him straight out, I said, look, you don't have to be hung up. I won't moralize or judge you. Do you want New World coming? Basically sideways. sideways. Mm -hmm. So he kind of said, "I said, okay, great." So we wrote New World coming. Could have saved a lot of time. Right. Was so there a lyric that I would remember if you just sang a second of Holiday Inn? Pack up your clothes and swim in the pool. <laughs> they wanted to promote the restaurant as something, you know, oh, to go to. Sure. Other than other than who hasn't spent a frantic night at the Ventura oh, yeah. Holiday Inn? Some nights when I don't have nothing else to do, me eating and my that wife. Surf and we just hop in the bus, we wine. drive down to San Clemente mm. and stay at a Holiday Inn. Right. Boy. Boy. Some revolve. But Boy. They, they turned it into a porno film. They have like every... <laughs> porno film? Porno <laughs> film. Yeah. Porno yeah. film. Right. You guys got some more Man Wild tunes there, right? Exactly. We can put up this Ooh. one, right? This is my favorite, right? This is one of my favorite songs you ever wrote. How did yeah. the animals get this? Uh, you know, Don't I was about, uh, and I had my demo that I cut. I you was, cut a demo. I you cut sent a demo. them the demo? Yeah, I cut a demo. That's another thing that bugs me. I cut a demo. <laughs> we used to cut demos in mono. And I used to overdub about eight or nine times. And you keep limiting as you did it. And I mm -hmm. cut a really a great demo that I gave. I was on a label called Redbird. George Golden's label. Right. And he loved it. And I loved it. And he was just about to put it out. And somehow a publisher had get, given the song to the animals. And by the time I was about to release it, this is really in one week or two weeks, it was number two in England. So oh. you never knew where your songs were until they were on the charts. No, no, no. Usually and that didn't happen, really. Begged them not to put it out in the United they States. They cut they words out of the... All they could say was it was yeah, number two yeah, in well, England. Yeah. What are you saying? Don't yeah. this record. I understand why. I mean, Burden felt that it was like an, a Righteous Brothers kind of song at that point, the way I cut it. Uh -huh. And it was, yeah. but it was a much better song. It was... It really would have been done by a lot more people. This is the one we all remember, though. Yeah. I mean, this was yeah. a yeah. smash record. Smash. It sounds okay to me. A little scratch, but you know, hey, hey, these are our own records, folks. In the sturdy old part of the city Where the sun refused to shine People tell me it ain't no use in trying My little girl, you're so young and pretty And one thing I know is true You're gonna die before your time is due See my daddy in bed is dying See his hair turning gray He's been working and saving his life away I know Yes. 
Father went to school with you. No, that isn't it at all. I gave this to my dad. I mean, well, I gave it to my dad. I mean, I'm sure there were a lot of people who did. I tell you truth. You were what we used to call a kiss. Yeah, I was a kiss. I always kissed my way through. Teachers like me, you know. I I just smile and they pass me. My father was thrilled that I owned it. Yeah, true. I can remember that he. What's the deal? This. Yeah, I like this. Terrific. And I tell you the truth. I mean, again, because I could categorize songs. For what it was, I really liked the song. You know? Was this for your dad, or did you no? Know, maybe was it was there? a wish, really, that he could have been this way. It would have been really nice. I could Whoa. tell you a story about. It was done on TV show. It was with Paul Peterson. Right. What was the name of the show? It was a Donald Reed show. show. And he sang it on the show. And I talked to Shelley Fabre, who has right. played his sister. She sang her hit on the show there too. Yeah, right? that's right. And she said that all the when they really it sounds so dramatic. It's great to have a Hollywood movie. Well, it is oh, Hollywood it's great. movie. It is it's great. It's like and everybody stopped. The cameramen were crying. Oh. And Paul Pat Peterson sang it. Really, I remember. Oh, that. it was great. I was very. Really he good. hasn't gotten Amy that much too. emotion. We too. did Amy earlier. Did you? Was your version first? You have it on the B side. Oh, no, that was my demo. Yeah, that they, I used that as a demo, which got the record. So then I just was looking around for something for B side. Let's go into another one. This is another uh, Barry Man tune well, we coming just up. Keep that we're just going to keep them coming. Well, I like talking about them, finding out. This is a nice one. This was a million seller. Yeah, yeah this was a good record. Oh. But I, but no, it wasn't. I'm talking about it. Later. No, no, go ahead. It's the same time. Right? I wrote this song after Marty, Ro- Marty Robbins had El Paso in. Uh-huh. So I wrote this song with a, f- a guy named Larry Coba. It was about a six-minute record, and it was it had a million verses, and it was that was the kind of thing it was. And then I forgot about the song, <laughs> and Emma Laviola, who was working up at Screen Gems as a professional manager, got this record and gave me the record. And said, "Listen to it." And we listened to it, and we just forgot it. Yeah, I said, "Oh God, this record will never be a hit. Forget it. You know, let's go on." And about six months later, it broke out of some small place in Texas. That means quite a few people, yeah, right? But, right, it was that kind of thing. Amazing. Dickie Lee. I really got to love that song. <laughs> no. <laughs> After it sold the close to the place. Yeah. No, 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 never, never did. It's a weird one, though. Yeah, yeah. It's it was a very a, weird like one. It's an off-the-wall kind of thing. Oh, you're right. So you then. Uh-oh. <laughs> I hate to step in right here. But we got to go to a quick break, really. Okay. That's yeah. okay with me. I know, really. It's tremendously I mean, interesting. The music. And we're going to come up with a classic. The classic. My Howard and I used to sing this next song. Oh, I know what it we is. We used to do it on stage. In fact, if you could write one of these <laughs> for us, we might make it back as big as... You never know. Conway Twitty, maybe. Dickie Lee, at least. Flo and Eddie by the fireside. We'll be right back. <laughs> 